This video is sponsored by Squarespace. All right, so I found this little pathway. Instead of just putting her in the middle and taking kind of like a boring shot, I could make it, I could try to make this more interesting. All right, so now I'm gonna just place this slit of light across her face to create some dramatic light. I do wish that the shadow was a little longer, but that's cool. Now move your head more in the shadow, right there. I really like this little area here, uh, but there's no avoiding the harsh sunlight here. There's no avoiding it, so we're gonna go ahead and, and use it to our advantage. So come over here. Okay, so now, so she's got the raccoon eyes going on, and we gotta, we gotta get rid of that. So what we're gonna do is, so let's do more of like a, like a side pose pulling hair. So I would say turn to the side, that side, yeah, because the sun's coming more from this way. And now you're gonna pull your hair, um, pull, yeah, grab onto your hair with that hand. Yep, pulling backwards. And then that other hand, you know, actually just leave it down. Leave it hanging, yeah. All right, here we go, one, two, three. All right, in the same location, I saw something else. If I turned around, I see, I get some layers there, some layers action, all right? So I've got crossing buildings, building here, building here, and then I got that, and then I got that one going that way. So it's a lot of re really nice composition there. Now to include that in my frame, I'm gonna have to shoot from a really low angle. Uh, put that hand almost like you're covering your, your, dre your dress. Here we go. Yeah, perfect. Look out, yep, look that way again. Love that. Look right here next to the, in the floor next to me. I really like you know, all the houses here. And problem is the lighting here is trash. Obviously you can see here that I got some pretty deep raccoon eyes, but you know, again, there's ways that we can work around this. So for one, since there is a shadow side, I could just, let's go walk into the shadow side. I could shoot in the shadow side and just frame her up where um, I only get the shadow side in, in the frame so that it's all even. So it looks all even. Watch, I'm gonna take a test shot here. Give me that simple L pose here. Ready, one, two, three. And you're not gonna have any blown highlights or anything like that. So that looks that looks good. So even when it's high noon sun, the sun is always gonna be like, it's rarely right above your head. So right now it's slightly behind her because her shadow is in front of her. And her face is in shadow now, so that's good. I don't have any raccoon eyes. So it's pretty much, it's almost like a, a backlit photo and I could work with that. Right there, good. Okay, let me take a look. Woo. Here is a quick posing tip for you guys. When you're asking your model to pose, let's say she's just looking at me straight on, like right now, not leading on anything. Um, one thing that I like to do, I call it the Instagram pose. It's where you kind of, she's already kind of doing it, where you kind of just lift, lift one knee up and you shift your weight to one side. Um, the issue with that is, well, how to, I would say the best way to do this is asking them to like turn their knee in a little bit. Turn your, okay, yeah. see, so when they turn their knee in, now you're getting more of an S, an S curve. You see, so like leave it back out again, like straight on to like point it at me. You see how I'm like, th there's not much of a curve there, but now turn it in. Yep, and so you see now, put it, yeah, right there. So you see now you get a curve right there. It creates more of a curvy, curvy figure. And what I like about it as well, it creates an end point. So like if you're gonna crop your image, at the knees, it looks better when it's coming to a point, you know, where both the knees are coming to one point versus both the knees completely separated. Cause now it looks like you just, it was abruptly cut. Oof, how is this for an abrupt cut? Now it's time to tell you about my sponsor for today's video and that is Squarespace. If you have been looking to start a website, blog or an online store, you need to check them out ASAP. Every entrepreneur needs a website, and with Squarespace, you don't need to have any kind of graphic design skills to start. It's so easy to use. You have 24-7 customer support. If you ever get bored of the look, you can choose from a bunch of pre-made templates and switch everything up at a click of a button. You can also start your own online store, like I did, where I sell my Lightroom presets and my retouching tutorial to make some passive income. If you want to check them out for yourself, use the coupon code MANNY, and you'll get 10% off your first purchase.